Okay, we're back again. What I'm going to show you today is um, kind of how we set up our lines and how we bait them. Um, what I got here behind me is a bank pole that my brother and I use out on the rivers that we fish. Uh, I was just going to kind of give you a demonstration on how to hook your bull heads uh, when you're setting your lines. A lot of people, they do it two or three different ways. I'm going to show you my two that I like the most. Um, a lot of times, uh, I don't really prefer the one over the other. Uh, bullheads will stay alive on the line a pretty good while. Uh, so what I'm going to show you here, I got a small bullhead here. Actually, it's a pretty decent sized little bullhead. My brother and I, we got a, a lake that we uh, we catch these things out of a private lake. And uh, the, the owner, they're just become a nuisance to his to his, uh, his his bass fishing lake, so he's asked us to get them out of there. So what we've done is put out slap boxes to uh, catch these things out of there and, um, and, and try to help him out. Um, what we uh, do here is, well, I've got a, a 9 aught stainless steel hook here in my hand. This is, uh, I believe, an eagle claw, and uh, it works really well. It'll, it'll hold those big, big, big flatheads on line pretty well. Um, and the good thing about a bullhead is, is they'll stay alive on the line for a long time. You know, a lot of people call them bullheads, mudcat, etc. Sometimes people even get them confused with the flathead, but they are not a flathead. They are a bullhead. Uh, they don't get very big. I think one of the, you know, a trophy size would probably be about two or three pounds. These are trophy. And that's about <laughs> as big as they'll get. But we have some really big ones in here. Uh, we hope to get some smaller ones, even though these work pretty good as well. I mean, whenever a, a flathead hits it, it's going to be a good flathead normally. Uh, even though, you know, I've seen small bullheads lodge into a flathead about the same size as a bullhead. However, right, what I'm going to show you here is is how to hook this this uh, mudcat. So uh, when you go back out, once you catch you some mudcat, you can uh, put him on line and he'll swim good. Um, so what I got here is my 9 aught hook, I was telling you, behind the head of the bull head here, you'll see a little area between the, the dorsal fin and the front of the head here, there's a small area, and it's, it's kind of a, I don't know if there's a bone or something back there in the back, but you can just kind of feel it whenever you stick it in the back there, underneath that skin, and it'll just pop right through, and that thing will live on the line for a week and swim and a lot of people will break the fins on the back to give them an unbalanced uh, swimming technique in order to attract the flathead. Um, another way that you can bait these things up is through the front. What uh, I normally like to do wash them off here what I normally like to do is, is go up to the, the top of the roof of the mouth because it's real hard. And um, it's hard for uh, the flathead to get them off. So you get it hooked in there like that. And a big old flathead will come hit him. And generally the flatheads, if you'll notice whenever you start catching them, they'll, they'll hit them from the front. And when they hit them, because they hit them from the front, they'll, they'll open up their, they hit them from the back, they'll open up their fins and, and get them. But you know, when you'll start seeing is whenever you catch these flatheads, they'll, they'll hit these, these fish from the front. So this is a good, good hook, and this is a good hook that we found out in the past. And we've been doing this a long time, so it's, it's, it's worked out for us really well. So we'll see you guys on the water. Thank you. What's going on now? All right, we'll just keep it These running. These are slap boxes. Yeah, we catch our mud cat. See, we just caught some. My film was off. See him in that bucket? Joseph will raise him up in just a minute. You want that cheese? This is what you're gonna get. You want you want something that's gonna catch a trophy? This is what you're fixing to get right here. This is your this is your bait. Not that cheese. Stinks. He's found some old cheese in his refrigerator. He's putting it in there.
show them the mud kit. This is what we got out of there. We got about what, seven or eight mud kit out of that box? We got seven of them. Out of that box. All right, we'll stretch it back out. We got one of them ACDC converters. Have a, and a cooler. Keep them treated your water. Got the extension cord running through the back window. He didn't eat too much that bait, hadn't he? Golly, that joker is fat, ain't he? 